keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hello there, welcome to this video from racingbetdata.com. And today we're gonna to be showing you how you can use Visual Basic VBA uh, macro coding in Excel. May sound a bit intimidating, but really straightforward to, to learn the basics on this. Um, and what this allows you to do is automate um, your daily routine. So for instance, if you're, if you're exporting the, uh, from the dashboard or from the pre-race download, and you're forever doing the same uh, mouse click, so you, you're filtering by today, or you're looking at certain features or functions within the sheet, and it, it's always the same same rules that you're applying to, to get the the um, the horses that meet your criteria that can be automated um, I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video so I have navigated to the pre-race download file logged in um, I'm going to download that file now uh, once the file opens you've got your usual um, data down the bottom separated by tabs so you've got your race tracks and then you've got the combined sheet um, and at the top of the uh, Excel workbook, you should see this developer function or developer menu option. If you don't have that, you can navigate through your file options um, and you should be able to just tick a box, which will add developer into your um, into your visible menu options because it's not always there by default. And what this is, is basically the, um, the coding language that sits behind Excel. Um, not always, um, there's, you know, this is, like I said, it's a coding language. You can go to the nth degree with this, but we're gonna be using the basic. We don't need to go to a, a high level um, degree of coding. It's a very complicated language, um, but we're gonna show you an easy way to use this. Um, and then as you get more confident and you start Googling certain things, you can get more uh, adapt at using it, but we're gonna show you the basic principles behind how you can um, cut out the repeat functions that you do on a daily basis, okay? so. Go into the developer tab, uh, we've got record macro, and when we click that button, what it will do is um, give you a little option here to show it's live recording. And what that is basically doing is following your mouse movements and mouse clicks around the worksheet or workbook um, and turning those into code. So you can save it and then recall it and then run it. So I'm gonna give you an example of how you can do it just using some basic filter selections. Um, and then we're gonna rerun it and see how it works, okay? So without further ado, let's go to record a macro. Uh, you've got the option here to, to name it. So we can call it test. You can add in a shortcut key, so control and a key. So you can run it just by pressing that key combination. And then you can put in the description, if you like, uh, of what the macro is. Uh, that's all optional. Um, and then click OK, and you'll see down the bottom here. So you've got the little option to stop your recording. And you can also stop it at any point in time from clicking the stop button at the top here. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to select the top row and apply a filter. Okay. I'm going to scroll back to the left and all of these scrollings that I'm doing left to right, up and down, they'll be recorded, but we can strip that out of the code uh, when we go to, to edit it at the end. So what I'm going to do is uh, filter by today. Uh, and then let's just simulate some sort of selection. So let's say, for instance, we look at predicted SP where um, it's less than six, okay? Uh, and then let's look at where we've got horses that have won at the course that they're running at today. So let's just select the yes. Uh, and then let's look for horses that have uh, won at the class that they're running at today. So we're gonna say greater than zero. And that's, pulled us up a list, a nice list of 18 horses that are running today. And like I said, that's not a, a system. I've just used that, but that might be a system. That's the method behind the, the system criteria that we're going to use. So I'm going to stop that recording there. So that's now frozen. Uh, and I'm just going to take out the filters and then we're going to look at the code. So as I said, this isn't a, this isn't a system. What I've done is just give me an example and we're going to work with that now, uh, how you can automate generating your selections on screen, okay? So let's go to the macro option on the developer tab, and there you can see that the saved macro that we've got called test is there ready for us to either run or edit um, or delete. And you can build up a list of these. So if there's certain different criteria that you have for different trading or betting purposes, you could save more than one or two um, and then recall one after the other. Um, so let's get into this one that we've done, edit. 
and you can see here here's the coding that we've recorded and a lot of this is is waste so we can strip a load of this out so all this scrolling we don't need that in there uh, we can take out all of that scrolling code and strip this uh, formula back to just the necessities that we need in there and you can already see that we've stripped that code right back down uh, and what we can also do so you can see here it's, it's selected the range which is a to bj 7047 so that's the, the the amount of horses in the list today that list could be it will be dynamic so it could be longer shorter uh, whatever so we want to take out that hard coding of the the row length and just leave in the uh, the columns so a to uh, bj is all we need and the same on this one and finally on this one okay so there we have our four uh, criteria options if you like um, and what we can do you can see here in green this is where we put our description of the video and you could add in comments in here which don't interfere with the, the process you just need to click the apostrophe and then you can put in a comment as to what that bit of code is doing so i can put in here adding uh, add filters and that will turn green then we can say um, filter for today's horses and then this is where we were looking for um, where the predicted SP was less than six. Predicted SP less than six. And this is optional, you don't have to do this, but it helps you if you're doing a larger bit of code to remember what each section does. Uh, and then we're looking for um, course wins, yes. And then class wins above zero. Okay, so that's a essentially what we've just recorded um, and that's looking for the list of today's horses sp graded uh, less than six predicted sp graded uh, less than six sorry yes to course wins and it's one at the class it's running it today and obviously that will exclude any uh, irish um, irish horses in or running in ireland uh, because the, the, there is no class differentiator between the races so just click out of this um coding and then what we can do is run that macro so you can see here this is the the sheet as it was to start with we can click onto the macro option and instead of edit we click run and there you go as quick as that it's brought up those selections so it's put the filter on today it's put the filters on the predicted sp it's put the filters on the course wins and also on the class wins there okay so that recalls that with the click of the mouse really useful um, and then what you could do is go into that code, you can select it, copy it, and then save it somewhere on your desktop. Um, and then all you have to do each morning is when you download the data, uh, the, the daily file, you go into uh, Visual Basic, you can do it by pressing Control F11, uh, sorry, Alt F11. And then you simply right click here, insert module, and then you can paste it in uh, and then go back to your macros and run it. It's as simple as that. So I hope you found that useful.